Hey everybody, it is Professor J from Sidescape Gaming. Thanks for stopping by the channel and checking out today's video. This is a Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video, as you can tell in the background. So what I'm going to be doing here is we're going to be checking out some of the modded cars that are added to the workshop, some good creators in the community, and we're just going to be checking out some of the modded cars that they've added to the game. And in this particular video, we're going to check out the Ford Focus 2017 ERS. Great looking car, so this could be a lot of fun. Uh, I think this car was created by dead bob so shout out to you dead bob because actually i did enjoy this car but we'll get into those little details so we're just gonna take a look at see if we can find maybe any little glitches or flaws or what i particularly like about this car because there's actually a lot of good stuff in this one so without further ado let's get this video started and check out this wonderful car all right, so our first stop here will be at the dealership where I was able to find this car pretty easy. And it does have a price tag of $142,000 and change, but that's, you know, in line with a lot of the cars that are already in the game. So a pretty good job there. I got to say, I wasn't able to find it in the junkyard, even though I came across a lot of parts for the Focus. And I wasn't able to find it in a barnyard, but that just be my, yeah, it could be just my luck. But I was able to find out, as you saw in the auction house, even though I did have the computer want to, you know, raise the value of the car on me than what it was actually worth. But all fun and games, really cool. So, starting off with the car and, you know, dismantling and everything, really easy, no problems, no parts got in the way of each other and all that kind of stuff, you know, it was really easy to work with. A lot of moving parts in the back end, but that's all fun and games as well. So, gotta say, got no complaints taking this car apart from top to bottom. Um, and a really, a lot of cool things that I found in the car that I think were really neat and I want to show you. Also, you know, I'm trying to be picky. I got to try to find one thing I can find flawed, but you know what? I'll show you that. It's not too big of a deal. I still like this car. So, you know, great job, Dead Bob, because you did an excellent job. Let's get right into some of the key things that I liked about it, all right? So one little detail that I really like to enjoy and want to point out, because it's the little things that really make a great car, was right here, the air filter cover, the RS symbol right there staring in the face, does not actually interfere when you're taking apart a cart and once you start getting into the engine, which I thought was really cool. So great job there. Now, the little picky thing that I had to find, you know, I got to add one picky thing because, well, I'll tell you the truth, it's the only thing I could find, was that the exhaust pipe right here, as you see, goes into the you know, into the axle a little bit, but you know what? That is the smallest thing and flaw I could find, but hey, I got to throw in something in there, right? Got to throw in a positive and a negative possibly. I don't know. You guys can decide. Also, I did want to throw this out there too for looks again. This is really great. As you can see here, I do have the muffler and the exhaust pipe, but you, the muffler is actually part of the bumper and it's the it's the muffler that you would find with the car. So what this creator did, Dead Bob, is he just put the exhaust pipe that runs into the muffler and then it disappears. So then when you add the actual bumper of your choosing, the muffler is right there and it'll cover the exhaust pipe. So your car has no, like, it doesn't look bad. It looks really great. Like, and that's, you know, for the realism of the car. And I really wanted to point that out because as a creator, that is paying attention to details. So that is awesome. Just wanted to put that out there. Something I thought that was really cool. So getting back to sort of my like list about this car, it really comes down to just one category and that is attention to detail by the creator. And Dead Bob did a really good job just taking the extra time and detail into this car. As you can see in the body shop, there is tons of extra parts to make your car look great. I'm not going to sit here and show you what every sort of car could look like because I don't want to take all the fun away from you guys, including as well, you can add some extra parts into the engine for a little aftermarketness, get the horsepower up. So, but I didn't want to show you my dyno video, even though I thought about it, but I don't want to take away that kind of fun away from you guys either. And as you, I just want to show you another thing, as I'm saying, you know, attention to detail. As we can see, see here, take a quick little look at the engine. You got engine covers. You did have the air filter cover which is not really a part, it's just there for looks. And, you know, it doesn't interfere with the engine when you get right into it and you're trying to take it apart. So that's really great. As you can see here, I'm just showing you that muffler thing again. As you see, it's just labeled as a front end, but it's not too hard to deal with. It's really easy to understand when you get into the body shop and making this car happen. And this is what I really enjoyed about this car. And this is what I'm really trying to talk about is attention to detail. Look at how nice this inside of the car looks. Like that blue stitching is amazing. That's why I had to go with the blue paint job as, you know, keep it with a the theme. Because this car looks great. As you see, Dead Bob's got his little signature there in the front. But that's okay. It's what happens when the painter paints a picture, right? It's got to sign it. And right there, just a little strip and the match just looks really great. So I really enjoyed this car and I highly recommend it for, you know, anyone playing the game. 
So it's time to wrap up this video and I do want to start off by saying I recommend this card to anyone playing this game. There wasn't any flaws or glitches that we could find except, you know, that picky part where the exhaust pipe goes through the exhaust, exhaust, exhaust pipe goes through the axle there a little bit. I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's really the only picky thing I could find. Other than that, just flawless car and I do recommend it because of the attention to detail that Dead Bob did with the, you know, insides, the engine, with the engine cover, the air filter cover, just really great. Those are small little details, but that makes, you know, your your painting go a little bit further, right? And so that's great, and I liked it that much. All I got to say to everyone out there is if you have any recommendations of future videos, cards you want to take a look at, throw it down in the comments section below. Other than that, it's time for Professor Day to sign off here from Sciusape Gaming saying, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you guys and gals real soon. Take care, everyone.